Hey guys, this video talks about how to upgrade the memory from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes on an Asus X501A. I'm using 8 gigabyte, 1600 megahertz SODIMM. Now, I have removed the keyboard assembly and the hard drive. I have two separate videos that go into great detail on how to do that. Um, is once you get those parts out, you're ready to work on this. Now I've peeled back the um, aluminum tape that is holding the motherboard down. You just want to peel that out of the way. I've removed the aluminum tape that was covering the HDMI port, just to set it aside. I've removed this cable from both the LED display, uh, LED lights here, and from the board right here. So have all those components out. I've removed seven screws from the motherboard. Six as designated by these little arrows on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The seventh is longer. Okay, I've also removed three screws from the CPU fan, and I've removed two screws from this USB slash uh, power board. Now, haven't disconnected any other cables yet. So first step, once you get all the screws out and the aluminum tape pulled back, um, remove this, don't, rem don't remove it, but it has adhesive, double-sided tape, so just uh, loosen that up. Now, you have these two screws removed, you lift this power board out of the way, and uh, just make sure it's, it's free. Now, I'd recommend actually removing this power board to minimize any, any damage. Um, just lift the plastic piece up, pull it, and this one just pulls out the power cord. So set that board aside to be safe. Now, uh, once you have that out, you need to kind of lift the CPU fan out of the way. And uh, let's unplug your, your VGA. You need to peel back this tape, slide it toward the back of the laptop, and then once it's out, carefully fold that backwards. All right, so I'm leaving this connected right here. Um, leaving everything else connected. You just need to free up this other portion. So while you hold this fan, you want to lift the heat sink and pull it slightly away to the left side of the laptop. Now while you're, you want to hang out with one hand there and while you're holding that, well, this is going to get kind of tricky. We're going to rotate the laptop and you don't want to put any force on the right side. You need to slowly put it on its side there. Hopefully that makes sense. You don't want to uh, put any tension. Um, let's zoom out a little bit here. You don't want to put any tension on this connection because you'll end up snapping it. I uh, think this is for the speakers or something. So uh, yeah, this gives you full access to the uh, the dim as well as the wireless card which you may be able to upgrade as well um, I don't know if the board will support an Intel card or not I have not tried but it's right there so with the antennas so yeah the dim just like any other dim just uh, release the mechanism pull it out and put this one in here push it in lock it down now you want to grab the fan and the heatsink and kind of lock this into place here and slowly rotate it back down while holding on to the fan. And while you're pushing it down, push the Wi-Fi cables underneath there. And you want to kind of push the board that way so the ports are, are lined up. Move your CPU fan out of the way, and then put it back down. Let's see, line up the screw holes. Make sure everything is, is lined up. You don't have any kind of tension or anything like that. So put your battery back like that. You can plug your display back in, your display cable. Put the tape back on. And we can put our aluminum tape back down. You want to do this first because um, I guess it's designed to ground something to the screw. 
So yeah, let's put that screw back in as the first step. And I'm not going to put all the screws back in, just enough to demonstrate that this does work. So, and oh, that's the wrong hole. Um, the screws that you put back in are, have little arrows. I think I mentioned that earlier, little white arrows. So I'm going to put enough in to, to snug this down. Put one in the, the fan here. Looks like that's secure. And going to plug the power cable back in first. And then on the top side here, make sure the plastic piece is up and it locks down properly. Put that piece back into place. Gonna put the, the long screw in. This screw's long. There's, there are two long screws you'll have to remove. They go through the hinge things. I don't know what they're called. So that's looking better. Um, I'm gonna fold this back down just a little bit there. I'll put all the screws back in here in a little bit. I'm not even gonna put the hard drive back in. So and as long as this thing is uh, is secure, we're, we're good. And uh, let's go ahead and plug our keyboard back in. This is a little tricky to get it lined up. There it is. Okay. Not even worrying about the touchpad. Just enough where we can put it down like that. Put the battery back. Let's see. See if we did this right. F2 BIOS. Now there you have it. There you have your eight gigabytes of RAM right there. And yeah, this is the X501A with the Asus there, so yeah, it does work. Um, as far as disassembly, or reassembly, check the other videos to go in more detail. I don't wanna waste time since I've already covered that, but hopefully this, this helps some folks out there, and uh, you, have, you have a good one.